Welcome to the video where I have very strong opinions and nobody likes them. <laughs> I have been asked to rank the Just Dance 2022 maps for how long has the game been out? Four months. <laughs> so here I am to present to you my opinions. Before I get into my ranking of the Just Dance 2022 maps, I wanna say a couple things. First of all, this is not to say that any of the maps are bad. I actually don't think any of the maps this year are particularly like bad or like not well made, but I think some are better than others. <laughs> I'm only gonna be doing the classic maps today. I'm gonna be saving the alternates and extremes for a different video because there's so many maps. <laughs> so we're just doing classics today. I also wanna say, could I make them any better? No, no, I could not. I'm not a game developer. I'm barely even a dancer. So before anyone's like, well, could you make it better? No, no, I couldn't. No thoughts in my brain. So I would like to walk you through the tiers that I've created. Whoops, I smacked the microphone. Here are my tiers. Iconic, literally the best, like the best of the game. Amazing. I think this is gonna be where I put maps that I think are really fantastic, but lack in some degree. Like maybe the choreo is not that good or maybe the costume's kind of lame or whatever, but the rest of it is good. Pretty much what I expected. I think these are gonna go in like the more generic Just Dance maps where I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. <laughs> Nor thank you. These are gonna be the ones that I, don't really like. Toxic from Just Dance 2. <laughs> I think you understand where I'm going with this one. <laughs> Let's get started. Bayana is the first one. I think I'm gonna put this in pretty much what I expected. We're in a weird position with Just Dance 2022 where I feel like they're in between Just Dance eras. Some of the songs are like your typical all painted white character no camera angles, just the dance and that's it. And some are like way more interesting, have camera angles, have intros, have like faces painted. So I feel like we're in a, we're in a, a weird transitional time for Just Dance. And Bayana is pretty much what I expected. <laughs> Next one is Believer by Imagine Dragons. Uh, this one is going in nor. <laughs> I just don't really end up liking the bad boy Just Dance songs. I think just because they're all very like, ooh, I'm edgy and I just don't, it just doesn't click with me. <laughs> it must be really hard to make a choreo for that kind of song. And I think they tried their best, but it's just, it's a little wacky. Black Mamba classic or non-extreme. I don't know what we want to call it. I'm gonna put it in, pretty much what I expected. I think it's a cool map. Coach looks really cool, but other than that, it doesn't really stand out. I wouldn't even put it in amazing because there wasn't anything about it that particularly like drew me in. I think Black Mamba is not one of my favorite songs in Just Dance. So I'm putting it in pretty much what I expected. Boom Ya yeah, Classic, I actually wanna put in amazing because I felt like there was a lot more work put into it. And I think I just really like the map a lot more than Black Mamba Classic. This was the first map I saw with like the faces painted where it zooms in really close. And I was like, wow, this looks great. Also the background is incredible. I would al almost argue that the background in Boom by ya Classic is better than the background in Boom by ya Extreme. I'm gonna be honest, that's my hot take. I'm putting it in amazing. Boss Witch, I... Mm, I think I'm gonna put Boss Witch in pretty much. No, actually wait, no. I've changed my mind. I'm putting Boss Witch in Amazing because of the cover. I really loved this Doja Cat song, but I was like, they're never gonna put it in Just Dance because the name of the song says the B word. Oh my God. <laughs> but they made a cover that is like family friendly, fits into their like Halloween song placeholder that they have in like every game. And the cover sounds incredible. It sounds just like the song by Doja Cat. This is probably like the best cover they've ever done. So just for that, I'm putting it in amazing. If it wasn't for the cover, I would probably put it in pretty much what I expected because the choreo is, the choreo in the background is pretty much what I would expect from Just Dance. Build a babe, I'm gonna put, hmm, I wanna put it in nor thank you, but I don't think I dislike it that much. I'm gonna put it in pretty much what I expected, but I'm like 
I'm like right here. I'm like in between, mainly because I think there was a huge opportunity miss to make this map similar to the music video. And I think it would have been so cool if Build-A-Babe went from like this pastel pink, cute looking thing to like maybe like halfway through the song, she's like breaking out and it's a factory and she's like got this really cool bad girl costume on. I think it would have been so much cooler. I feel like there was an opportunity miss. Buttons, I'm gonna put in pretty much what I expected as well. I would put it in amazing. This is really surprising to me because Just Dance I feel is normally pretty good about this, but it seems like there was not a lot of consideration taken for space for this dance. You are supposed to have enough space to place a chair, walk around the chair, and walk forwards and walk backwards. And I have like a dedicated dancing space and even I don't have that much space. Just for that alone, I'm gonna put it in pretty much what I expected, but I do love the map. I think it's very sexy and beautiful and I'm so happy to see another chair dance, kind of like rich girl. Chacaron, we know where this is going. <laughs> in all seriousness, I'm putting Chacaron probably in pretty much what I expected simply because it fills the silly goofy map role. Like we've had this so many times. We've had it with Voto Voro. We've had it with Shaky Shaky. There's always one silly, ridiculous, kind of annoying song on Just Dance that I think they expect kids to hear once and just repeat it nonstop. And I feel like this is that. So it's pretty much what I expected. Chandelier. I'm gonna put Chandelier in amazing. I think the direction for this map is so beautiful. I watched this and was like, almost kind of like had goosebumps because I was like, wow, this is really like the new generation of Just Dance. Like it's these like really intricately made backgrounds, motion capture characters. Like I just, I thought it was really beautiful. However, <laughs> I don't think we're at the point yet where faces look good in motion capture because her face is like so stale the entire time. It doesn't express the emotion that I feel is kind of necessary for a song like Chandelier because it's a very like intense, powerful kind of emotional song. And I think that one aspect ruins it for me. China, I'm gonna put Oh, I'm so sorry. China is really fun. It's a fun dance, but I'm gonna put it in nor thank you because it's five and a half minutes long. This song is so long. The thing is though, I do like the dance. I think the choreo is fun. If China was like three minutes long, I would probably put it in pretty much what I expected. Don't go yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I wanna put don't go yet. I'm gonna put don't go yet in pretty much what I expected because it kinda has the typical like, oh, let's bring back previous coaches and like put them in a map and it'll be silly and funny. I don't think the choreo fully brings me in. It's not that fun to me, but I love the way that they made the map. I'm just kinda indifferent. Flash pose. I wanna put put flash pose in amazing, but I think I'm gonna put it in pretty much what I expected because it is pretty much what I expected. <laughs> it doesn't particularly stand out to me. It's a fun choreo and stuff and it's a cool dance, but it's, it's pretty much what I expected. <laughs> Freed from desire, I'm gonna put in... Oh, I'm starting to struggle. I wanna put it in amazing because it's really nice to see maps in Just Dance that are more, what's the word I'm looking for? Adult, more mature. The lyrics are about like connecting with like body and mind and letting go of material things. And I'm like, this is really heavy for like a party game, but I kind of like it. But I gotta say the song chorus really annoys me. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in pretty much what I expected. Funk, funk is going in pretty much what I expected. I feel like funk was close to, not quite, but like close to their flagship song for this year with the announcement. Cause funk is definitely like that upbeat kind of pop song that they use to make their announcements. So I'm just gonna put in pretty much what I expected. It's a fun dance, but it's not like amazing. Girl Like Me, I'm gonna put in amazing territory. I think Girl Like Me is really beautiful. I have a couple songs from Just Dance 2022 that I just love to sit and watch. And this is one of them. So beautiful. Good for you. 
Mm -hmm. This one's hard for me. I think I'm gonna put good for you in pretty much what I expected, which is kind of a bummer for me. I love the costume changes. I love the background, but I was a little disappointed with the dance. I felt it was really uninspired, I guess. When I dance to it, it doesn't satisfy me in the way that I, I wish it did. Like, I think it could have gone a little harder, if that makes sense. I'm gonna change it to amazing, but it's like borderline what I expected. Happier than ever is going straight to iconic. Oh my God. This intro is beautiful. This coach is beautiful. This map is beautiful. It's so well done. I have goosebumps talking about it. I don't think you can see it, but the hair on my arms is standing up. I love the choreography. I feel like, like what I said when I was talking about good for you, I feel like happier than ever, the moves and the way she's just kind of like thrashing around. <laughs> I'm like, this fits the song so well. Oh, this map. <laughs> is so iconic and in my opinion is like going down in Just Dance history. I hope they do more maps like this. All the stars aligned and it just came out mwah, perfect. Human, I am also putting in iconic. I know this is not like the super fun, happy party song that people are kind of like used to in Just Dance, but this song is pretty like popular within like the dance community and it is, so nice to see Just Dance exploring the more professional side of dance. Also exploring contemporary again, because I feel like we have not gotten a lot of contemporary maps. I think Human is like my new favorite map of all time throughout the entire series. For years it was Circus Extreme and now it's human because it is so mature, so beautifully made. The lighting on it is really incredible. The choreo I thought was really amazing. Iconic, iconic map. I'm out of love, I'm putting in pretty much what I expected. It's pretty much what I expected. I don't know, it was fine. I love her bodysuit though. Oh my God, she looks incredible. Jerusalem, I'm so sorry. I'm putting it in Toxic from Just Dance 2. Not because of the song. I think the song is really cute and nice to listen to. The coaches are kind of uninspired in terms of costumes. The choreography like absolutely murders this map for me. It is so repetitive and slow. It just is something that feels like it is just dragging on forever. And I just, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> I just do not like it. Jopping, I'm putting in amazing territory because even though the editing is like older Just Dance era, I love the background and the choreography. Mm, it just meshes so well and I just love it a lot. Judas is going straight to iconic. I don't think I really need to say anything else. The camera angles, the costume, the emotion of the dancer, which I think this is like my prime example for why coaches should continue to have makeup going forward because half of performing a dance is the emotion that you're showing. And I feel like Judas is like the perfect example for that. So just, mm, Judas is great. Level up, level up. I think I'm gonna put in amazing. I was gonna put it in pretty much what I expected, but I feel like the coaches hit this choreography so hard, which I feel like is not something I see in every single Just Dance map. And I think that's what pulls it up to amazing for me is the dancers just perform it so well. Levitating, levitating. I think I'm gonna put levitating in pretty much what I expected. I do think it's a beautiful map. I think it's really gorgeous in the way that they've created this sort of like alien coach that's flying through the galaxy. I think it's really beautiful and the colors that were chosen are really beautiful. But in terms of choreography, the way it's edited, I think it's just kind of pretty much what I expect from a Just Dance game. Love story, I'm, I'm gonna put in or thank you. I feel like Just Dance has been taking duet songs and kind of really like making them all the same. And that is super disappointing considering this is the first time they've ever had Taylor Swift in the game. I say that because if you watch this map, if you watch Senorita, if you watch like the generic easy duets, like love duets from Just Dance, they all kind of include the same moves. And I'm going to demonstrate them for you now.
So the first move we have is the generic Just Dance move where you're just going like this, or like this, or like this, or this, like whatever this is, you're just doing it a lot. The second move is grabbing each other's hands and spinning around in a circle together. They be spinning all the time. The third one is uh, grabbing the person's hand and pulling them to the other side of the map. And then the other coach grabbing their hand and pulling them to the other side of the map. It's just overdone. I wanted something new and interesting, especially considering it's Taylor Swift. That's just me though. Uh, you make me feel is, I don't think, I think I want to put it to iconic. I think this song, dance, the coach, the backgrounds, props that are used, like having the staircase and the microphone, the dancers' expressions are just all, they all fit so well together. It's a dance that like before I do it, I know is gonna wear me out and like, but I don't care because it is so fun. I don't think there's anything wrong with this map at all. <laughs> it's perfect. Mood, I'm gonna put in nor thank you. I think the idea of having them make a like a TikTok together is kind of cute. And I do like the Easter eggs in the background. It's a little boring to me. Maybe it's the dance. I just felt it to be a little bleh. Mr. Blue Sky, I love so much. It's one of my favorite dances to do, but I'm putting it in pretty much what I expected because I feel like this is our claymation song of the year. <laughs> I think it's really well done. I think it's really beautiful. I have a couple gripes with this map. I think there are certain times where you're supposed to be doing a move, but the coach is like covered up. I think it's a beautiful map and it's really well made and I do like it. If I think about it logically and not with my heart, I put it in pretty much what I expected. Oh, okay. So this is where I usually get in trouble. Nails, hair, hips, heels, the Just Dance version. I am putting in nor thank you simply because of the Just Dance version of the song. Has nothing to do with the background. My issue with the song is the Just Dance cover. I will say now, the Just Dance cover is clearly meant for like a younger person. <laughs> it's clearly not meant for a 27 year old woman. <laughs> I just think it's really corny. I do like the extreme version because the extreme version, they use the real song, which I prefer. But I just think the Just Dance version is very corny. It's like, put your Wiimote on and just dance a solo or duet, a trio or a quartet. And I'm like, ah, uh, it's just, ah. Uh. It gives me corporate vibes. It definitely gives me the vibes of like older dudes in like their 50s sitting in a boardroom wearing suits being like, what do the kids love these days? <laughs> I just don't, I, it just doesn't click with me. My way, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in pretty much what I expected, but it's very close to nor. The only reason it's close to nor for me is because the camera moves so far out from the song. The dancers get zoomed out so far that you're like, what are they doing? <laughs> like I had LASIK and I can't see what's going on. <laughs> like you really have to get up close to the camera and be like, what are they doing with their hands? But I do love the coaches and I love the dancing and I love the costume. I just wish it was easier to see what they were doing. <laughs> Rock your body. I'm gonna put in amazing because this is another one that utilizes camera angles. And I think the whole like Dr. Strange vibe that they were going for, they totally hit it. I think it's really cool. And I'm just happy to have more Justin Timberlake and just dance and just makes me happy. I think save your tears. I think save your tears. I'm going to put in pretty much what I expected only because I would have put it in amazing, but I f thought the choreo was a little, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I found the choreo to be a little simple. I thought the idea of the choreography was sweet where it's like they're teaching each other something. Like these two characters in Just Dance lore have gone through everything, gone through different universes and different galaxies just to find each other and like fall in love. I love the idea of Just Dance lore. I love it. It's just the moves themselves are like a little simple and I wish it would have been more interesting. Poster Girl is going straight to amazing for me. Poster Girl just gives me such happy vibes. It definitely is like a previous Just Dance era generation type of song, but there's something about the choreography, the song and the, the background together that just, it just makes me so warm inside. It makes me so happy. Small Town Boy, I'm putting 
I'm struggling between iconic and amazing. I think I'm gonna put Small Town Boy in iconic, not necessarily because of like the choreography itself, but because of like, I think the, the impact it has. So if you don't know Small Town Boy, it's more or less a song about like gay liberation, like someone who has to leave home because he's not accepted where he is in his home and he's going to the bigger city to try and live in a place where he's accepted for his sexual orientation, for being gay. And I just think it's, oh, it's just such a beautiful song. And this is another thing I was talking about where it makes me so happy that Just Dance is exploring more mature themes. I can't imagine how many like queer kids are playing Just Dance and don't feel like safe enough to be able to tell people in their home or people in their hometown or their friends or whatever that they are gay or bisexual or pansexual or lesbian or whatever it might be. Putting this song in this game is so meaningful. It's really important and it just, it makes me happy to see them taking steps like this, especially with a dance that is just so emotional and so beautiful and I'm really glad that he danced it because he's an amazing dancer and I think he captures like the feeling of this really well. I just love it. Anyways, Stop Drop Roll is going straight to Toxic from Just Dance 2. Boo! We hate stop drop roll. <laughs> Honestly, my reasoning for this is really simple. I just really don't like the song. Um, I I like the idea of the map of all of them dancing together in different locations, especially during a pandemic. It makes sense. But the song, I just don't like it. I'm just not a big fan. <laughs> Suicata, I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put it in pretty much what I expected, but it's like very close to amazing. Like the artistic direction of the map is really cool, but it's another one of Just Dance's thigh songs where they specifically make a dance where you have to squat the entire dance. And every time I just go, mm -mm, no, <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> So like when I see Suikata come up on the world dance floor, I'm like, no, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> so I put it in pretty much what I expected because I avoid this dance at all costs. Last Friday night, I'm gonna put in amazing. I don't think the choreography itself is that amazing because it is coaches from older Katy Perry songs coming to teach this character how to dance, but everything else is amazing. I love the idea that they took this coach that is very shy and they take her and they like, they're like, you know what? We're gonna gather the group. We're getting all the Katy Perry coaches and we're gonna teach you what to do. And you're gonna open your cocoon and become a butterfly. And I just think it's so beautiful. I definitely teared up the first time I saw it because I was like, this is really sweet. So I'm putting it in amazing. I'm gonna put the Eurovision song in pretty much what I expected. I do enjoy dancing to it. And I do think that the animation is really cool and the background's really cute. I'm a little confused on why it was this year's like Christmas song or holiday song, but it's a sweet song and I really love it. It's just not like amazing to me. It's what I expect Just Dance to put out. Run the World Girls. Mm, I'm... I'm gonna put it in what I expected. I love the costumes. I think the costumes stand out to me more than anything else in this map, to be honest. It's exactly why I made this category of pretty much what I expected. Like I watch it and I'm like, yeah, that's what I figured Just Dance would make. It's not like breaking any boundaries. It's to be expected. I don't even remember what this song is called, but I'm putting it in Nor Thank You. It's just okay. What's it called? Ivory Tower? I forgore. I just think it's fine. It's not really for me. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun ranking these. It took a lot longer than I expected, but I guess that's kind of how it goes when there's 40 songs <laughs> in the game. I wanna do a separate video where I do the alternates and extremes and then maybe like the global songs that were released because I think if I just did the extremes, it would only take me like 10 minutes to do it because there's not that many. <laughs> so I kind of wanna do the alternates on another video. I would love to know your opinions on the maps. Which one's your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Why, why not? Any questions, comments, concerns? I have a lot of fun making these because I do really like talking about Just Dance. As someone who's been playing Just Dance since the very first game, I have a lot of wisdom <laughs> about these games. So it's kind of nice to talk about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have more dance videos coming out if you want to go see them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you.